Well, 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 well. I today want to do a bit drama. Ah, I found it. Ching ching. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to another episode of Housekeeping. As the seven month approaches, ah, sorry, as the seven month <laughs> going to close already now, the gate is closed. Close already, ah, oh, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> the seven month has finally closed. Do you feel anything strange? Because I feel sick. I'm coughing now. Don't know whether because of all the smoke or whether because it's like the kids coughing in my face. Who knows? But here we are at. 12.30 a.m. and we're working hard for the housekeeping. So let's move on to interesting topics today. Let's go. I really want to do Is there anyone here? What did you You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. Hey, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hello. another episode of Housekeeping with us. Your host, my name is Eugene Tay, and that is Belinda, aka SC Succubus. Today, my makeup also very succubus. You can see my eye. Oink, oink. Oh, I got effort <laughs> today. Actually, got effort every week. But today, the, the makeup more radiant, huh? Uh-huh. I don't know why today I think I'm in a very succubus mood. Oh. Mm. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we promised you last week, this week we're going to have some topics that we have never quite covered before, and that is about conspiracy theory. So put on your tin foil hat and let's oh, go yeah, down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I don't have, I got a, my, my, my conspiracy beanie. Okay. I, I, got, I got this one, the closest tin I can find. Yeah, I look like some cocks, yeah. I look like some Christmas elf. <laughs> I, after I seduce my I, my master, then now I become queen of the mansion. Okay. <laughs> sure. Close enough, close enough. Yeah, so this is my conspiracy, my, my conspiracy beanie. And, and my uh, conspiracy Tiara. crown. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know, not enough to clean the house. I must become the mistress of the mm. house. I see. <laughs> okay lah, that's what that's your new nickname. You're mistress of the house because you know you're the mistress of housekeeping, right? So uh, there we go. Habis. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the very first slide that we have for you. Wow, this one is. Yeah, hey, I knew. I know a few. I feel quite. Proud okay. Okay. <laughs> let's let's go from the top to the bottom. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. I think everybody. Of it before, okay. right? Even the kids nowadays, they don't even know what is it, but they just like chant that name. Okay, okay so the all seeing eye, Illuminati is a shadow government, a secret society. Yep, yep. Uh, some yep. people say it's a spawn off from the Freemasons, but whatever it is, they are the people who are working behind the scenes to uh, work towards a one world government. I believe the lizard people are also covered there. Uh, right? So many over overlapping stuff. Area 51, that's where the Roswell incident uh, UFO landed. And I think there's enough documents about Area 51 for us to really believe that it's real. Lah. But how hmm. how much of the conspiracy is actually real and how much is fiction, we don't quite know. Nobody will tell us. Uh, we are not the insider people. Yeah. Maybe one day, uh, Eugene, if how uh, Supernatural Confession make it big enough, uh, maybe down, we go Area 51 as well. Wow! <laughs> I like that. Fake moon landings <laughs> is uh, what some Americans believe that um, the Americans did not go to the moon. That every that entire episode about the moon landing, uh, first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, and all that, that's uh, fake. So fake, yeah. All TV. Then I I heard people say like, what the wind blow is actually the fan blowing. <laughs> actually, in space, got no wind. You know, uh, the, I I think we the. the who was that guy? Uh, Henry... Uh, no, uh, Kubrick. 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 Kubrick? Uh, that director. Uh, he was supposed to hmm. do the fake moon landing backup. But apparently they did land on the moon. But what they don't tell you is that when they land on the moon, they actually meet alien species there. <laughs> That's another level of oh. conspiracy theory. Uh, Loch Ness Monster, we know. There's a monster in... The Loch Ness uh, and is seen and photographed by people as along the line of Bigfoot and everything else. Like, this is a very old conspiracy. City of Atlantis is 
there is an island called Atlantis where it's like very futuristic but they have sunk under the sea. Some people believe that Atlantis is actually in Asia. Asia Major, that's where we are right now. Um, Sunderland, that's where Atlantis used to be. You know now, you know why the Asian looks so young while the rest of the Earth yeah. looks so old. <laughs> uh, the Atlantis blood still in us. Yeah. Time cube, I don't know. I think that I, I'm assuming that's like some time travel thing. Taurus Earth, no freaking clue. Nikola Teres. Nope. Nikola Tesla uh, This one I followed This conspiracy Quite closely Nikola Tesla Apparently Discovered Free energy Free renewable mm. energy And uh, what's, what's that banker There's this banker That didn't want him To reveal The secrets That would uh, Affect Business So they killed him And stole all his <gasps> ideas And patents Yeah Hey you know It's like uh, so some people also got this conspiracy say that uh, there's someone out there, a scientist or a doctor have already found a cure to cancer. Yeah. But because it's making money, then maybe they, you know... Uh, the big pharma oh, doesn't want you to have the solution. They want to keep correct, feeding the, you. The, the lizard people. Yeah, the lizard no, people. they don't want you to find out about all the cure. Lizard people. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, then what airport? I, can't, I don't know what's that. I think it's about... Uh, a, 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 a run... A, a, I don't know. I, I, I vaguely recall them where I think we, I think we can sub in with like the Malaysia flight that disappeared. Ah, something like that. <laughs> uh, Roswell, I guess Roswell is the same as Area 51. Uh, Fermi Paradox, never no idea. Always. Gary Goo, never heard of it as well. Elf, never heard. Uh, we are in a simulation. Nope. That one I, be, I, I've heard about it and it's something I subscribe to as oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Is that the world is all a virtual reality. We are in the Matrix. You know, the 1999 Matrix, the one with Neo and Trinity and... Yeah, and, and what was that? The, what was that? The, the show, uh, something Truman uh, the Truman one. Show. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So after that, it's like you're just like you're part of a very, very big show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then everybody is just like, you know, there to like see what kind of your action you will do. Mm. Mm. But everybody's in on it. Yeah. Oh, it's a very conspiracy uh, theory. 13th floor as well. I think there's another one called Dark Matter. All It's all about the world is simulation. And I, I, I think quantum physics has tried to recreate certain laws of physics that the world is a simulation and managed to, in theory, prove it that it may happen or it could have happened. But isn't like the meta universe trying to go in that direction yeah. also? Trying to like upload us into the internet or something like yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. We are all uh. consciousness. So this is actually an avatar. Battle of Los Angeles is that there was a battle mm. in Los Angeles after the Pearl Harbor attack. Uh, but but for some reason, the government has covered up and says, oh no, it's a weather balloon that everyone started attacking. It's not a real... A, a, a real war Emerald Bird Expedition This is where Emerald Bird The pilot uh, s- Flew up To North Pole And the, he found An ent- entrance Towards the centre Of the earth He managed to document it And come back But when he told the army What he has found They did a cover up And says You're not allowed To talk about that So up- upon his death oh, He actually revealed His uh, His diary Or his His children revealed His diary But of course His date lah He cannot He can no longer Validate. Very fire. Yeah. yeah. Very shady, shady yeah. thing. Aztec goal is that the belief that there, there was uh, actual goal that was transferred from uh, Montezuma uh, from, from Mexico to Utah. And mm. they, they basically dug like gold from the earth. And along the way they traveled, they lost the goal. So people are always trying to find the Montezuma's goal. So there's movies about that. There's, there's conspiracy theory of where the mark, the goal is hidden. Who actually has the goal now? Interesting. Chemtrails is also interesting. Chemtrails is actually out of uh, America. It's, the conspiracy theory about chemtrails is that the government, especially the US government, is trying to uh, prevent uh, stupid people from procreating. <laughs> so they're putting fluoride in, in water. They are, they're putting uh, chemicals in the air to kill off uh, the weak race. So that only oh, those that it, remain will uh, be... Selective breeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eug- eugenics, right? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so that's ca- I got some pictures of chemtrails and this is what the Americans feel. Ding! When you see this in the sky, that's when the government is flying their aircraft and dropping chemicals onto the c- citizens below. 
Oh, they're just saying that you harvest already lah. Mm. You are the selected few. Yeah. Uh, so Agatha Agatha is something I subscribe to as well you have your mm. world and then you have your flat earth theories which I don't believe in flat earth but what I do believe is there is an inner earth called Agatha earth. this is what Emerald Bird found when he flew in and he was actually escorted by uh, alien racers to see what's in the middle of the earth where you have like dinosaurs and giants and trees it's 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 Avatar Oh, wait, wait, I think I saw a movie about it. Uh, right? It's like uh, Journey to the Center ten, of the Earth. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> so the spiritual world of Shambhala where we all meditate and we go to this, you know, uh, perfect place, uh, that's also in the center of this earth. So when we actually travel and we, where we go, it's this hidden spot. And uh, apparently a part of conspiracy theory is Google Maps have covered the hole in the North Pole. So last time when it was Google Maps, you can go and see there was a big black hole in the North Pole. That's the entrance to the Agatha. But Google and the powers that be and perhaps the Illuminati who doesn't want us to know what's really going on in the world has covered it up. That's why you cannot go to the North Pole. Humans are not allowed to go there. Yeah, because the government knows. Interesting, right? Or maybe maybe like when you travel like near that hole, right? Yeah. Then you start to preach. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Also the other interesting thing is they say that uh you know who who went there? Who? Hitler. Oh sh Hitler in his in his uh, race to find the perfect race, the Aryan race, has flown to North Pole and set up his base there and is now operating out of Agatha. <laughs> Uh, so apparently people who have flown nearby to the North Pole have seen uh, German planes. Very interesting. Um, but, f- yeah. but like how likely is it's like he has been like what? He must be like super old man right yeah, now. But see, if you go to Agatha, do you find a way to live forever? <laughs> Perfect oh. race. Uh, Greek fire. It's Greek fire is because of a war in uh, 672 AD during the reign of Emperor Constantine. Uh, when they were fighting in the warfare, they dropped fire upon the vessels and this fire can burn on water. So they don't oh. know what liquid it is. But then oil floats on water, right? Yeah, so like oil, uh, oil. Oil can burn. Uh. But it's supposed to be burning non-stop. Mm-hmm. So people are saying that it, it's a... That the Greek has found a different kind of element that can continue burning for a very long time. So that's Greek fire. Uh, living water, I have no idea. I tried to Google living water, but it just brought me to some Christian conspiracy that I, I totally lost me there. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe, maybe uh, some of our fans can actually like tell us what's living water. Don't sign out some MLM scam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> MLM scam. <laughs> they, they don't tell us Something life I cannot uh, say. I don't want to get sued. We, <laughs> we got no living water, but but you got new water. When we take your piss and silver water and turn it into drinking water. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. Eye of Africa is this. This is Eye of Africa. Apparently, there is a natural ge- geological formation in the Sahara Desert that you look from space. It looks like an eye. So some people say it's alien. Some people say it's some geomagnetic energy that that spins around the area but for it to create this form of extremely large geological structure um, it's an amazing uh, it's just amazing to view lah. whether it's conspiracy mm. or not it's just amazing it's nice it's nice yeah uh, moon is artificial the moon is artificial it's also interesting people say that the the way the moon moves in 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 the distance to earth and to the sun and the eclipse and the, the, the calendar movement is too perfect for God to have made it so it's probably made by aliens and according to NASA uh, NASA has found uh, through their radio point uh, through their radar points to the moon being more metallic than researchers thought this gives people the idea that as a when you say the moon is metallic, maybe it's like a Death Star. So the moon is the Death Star. Oh. You can actually go inside the moon and there are aliens living in there. It, but Eugene, do you ever think that one day we will live on the moon? Like anywhere else besides Earth? Yeah, you can live on Mars. Do you think right, it's possible? Say, right? That's what they say, right? Mars, uh, Mars was once a livable planet with its own water, rivers and everything else, including some man-made structure. But there was a mm. great flood or a, 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 a meteor that hit Mars and then it's now desolated and Earth is likely to be like Mars in time to come. 
<gasps> jang, jang, jang. Jang, jang, jang. Okay, Skinwalkers, because you all know lah. Skinwalkers is the yeah. Yeah. And the rabbit hole goes even further. I don't think we can cover everything, quite frankly, because you have ancient aliens, skyquakes, back rooms, sea people. Uh, pharaoh Akhenaten oh, is actually the first pharaoh. He's a real person, by the way. He's the first person who actually created the monotheistic religion, the one god, the one god rule, which then assumed that Moses actually picked up from uh, Akhenaten and then replaced Jesus Christ as or Ra- yeah, yeah, Yahweh as the sun god uh, quantum realm I, I just <laughs> the rabbit hole goes so much right yeah is uh, this the last one is no this the last there's one time? more that's, that's oh, right no. um, oh. Incan airplanes is interesting I show you the Incan airplanes okay because of okay, okay. this hieroglyphs where they show like helicopter and spaceships you can see it really really look like really look like what we have like of Modern times, right? Yeah. So that's why they say that the old gods that people come that old gods come down, the chariots of the gods, they came down with fiery wheels and all that. They're actually modern ast- astronauts in the future that came back to the past to equip civilization with knowledge of the future. Mm, wow. Very interesting. And what else do we have? Uh, uh, uh Web Cambart is interesting. Web Cambart is this image. Uh, apparently. Uh, Matthew Groening, the creator of um, Simpsons, found this on his computer that appeared out of nowhere, inspired him to create Bart Simpson out of this image. And that's how he received actually intel from an unknown source. And that's why when you look at Simpsons cartoon, sometimes he's able to predict the future. You know, you heard of the conspiracy, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they're very yeah, then, accurate uh, in how they predict the future. It's because... Uh, 911 and, like, COVID. And Donald like, Trump, yeah. a lot of things. Yep. Because Matt Groening receives message from the other side. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, the, the, one, the one that I, I, like, very feel very proud of, the last one, that I, 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 I like, also have heard of it, ah. is the rupture already happened. <gasps> ah, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, so the rupture already happened. You know, the rupture is basically uh what we, we actually discussed before, which is uh what the Christian call it that, that the world is ending, mm. right? And then God is supposed to come down and to get like all the uh good Christian souls. I think there's a certain number of mm. them. Mm. Not everybody will be selected. So it's like a lucky draw. Mm. <laughs> if you get the golden ticket, you get to go to heaven with God and enjoy all yeah. the rest of the people like suffering souls right mm. below just like screaming boiling or whatever it is and then after that right what what they say right why the rupture already happened because they say that all these like uh, bad things that's happening to us now yeah. like what the uh the, the covid yeah. and then after that like one after another like the more like uh like the devastating like things like keep happening like closer and closer to each other mm. like one after another mm. so after that they say that the rupture is already here and then we are not the selected women. Oh, so we are hell on earth right now, lah. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically we are just like uh, you know, kind of bombarded yeah, here, yeah. left and right, <laughs> suffering uh, souls. And the Vatican is the beast. Is that actually Vatican has been overtaken by sat- the Satanist group? Oh, yeah. Hmm. So the devil has worked his way through us in the disguise of Vatican. Uh, you mentioned the cure for cancer is really around. It's, it's just being silence. It's there as oh, well. Oh no! Yeah, Ayo, it's 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 really interesting. I think there was a a longer list that I found online. The entire list of conspiracy theories. So many. Yeah. Now I think about life being an un- unproven theory and wormholes and you know we talk about various time slips and multiverse the next confession uh, it's a bit long so bear with it but it's a very interesting confession I listened to all seven minutes of it and I was so drawn into her retelling and I look at the body language her facial expression and it tells me that I think she's not bullshitting us well just take a look at this like went through some sort of and for good reason because it's really good I'll tell you my thoughts after. Watch the video, but to the original creator who's tagged below, we believe you. This is a story that I haven't told many people because frankly, I feel like everybody would think I'm crazy. When I was 16 years old, I went on a ski trip with my school. I live in Australia and snow is rare, so we had to go an 18 hour bus ride down south to the snow. I was with my friends, we're having a good time, we were excited to go snowboarding, but on only the second day of this trip, my entire life 
shifted. So because we weren't experienced in snowboarding, most of our school kids would go with the people who worked at this snow lodge and we'd all snowboard as one big group down the slopes. Some of the courses were more easy, some of them were more difficult, really just depending on what sort of experience you had as a snowboarder. I had none, so I was snowboarding with a big group of people, but I was the person at the very back of this group. Everyone starts to turn around this big mountain. Because I'm five seconds behind everyone, I turn around the mountain five seconds later. Mind you, it's a super busy day on the snow, it's a beautiful sunny day, and there are people everywhere. And like, not just us school kids, like a lot of people. But when I turn around this big mountain, everyone is gone. Everybody who was in front of me was gone, and everybody who was skiing or snowboarding behind me was gone. Like there were people who were not in the group I was snowboarding with, other people behind me. So once I went around this mountain, they should have followed. I should have been able to see everybody in front of me because after I turned this mountain, it was just a straight long slope down the hill. But I was dead alone. I am obviously instantly confused, shocked. I don't understand what's happening i get my phone out to call my best friend who was on this ski trip with me and i remember so distinctly my phone was on like 75 percent charge like it was charged but as soon as i pressed this little circle to enter my phone my whole screen went black and the no battery signal came up the only way i could make sense of what happened is that everybody somehow just beat me to the bottom of this course and everyone behind me somehow went past me without me realizing i was just like grasping at straws so i continued to just keep snowboarding down the hill hoping that i'd just make it to the end the thing is that there was no end there was no end to this course or whatever alternate reality course I had just jumped into. As I mentioned, I was not an experienced snowboarder, so I was trying my best to snowboard, but I kept falling over. I decided to just eventually give up, clip my snowboard off and walk. I walked for like an hour. I was tired. I was carrying this heavy snowboard. I was walking in snow, which is just as hard as walking in sand. And after what feels like forever, I finally came to this, what looked like an abandoned ski lift. It was really dingy and old and creaky and looked scary. I thought my best chance was to get onto this ski lift so I could get up high and have a look around, hoping that maybe I'd find where the main area is. Cause in the main area, there's like a bar and cafes and restaurants and whatever. I thought if I can see that, I know which direction to walk in and I can just make my way over there before the sun sets. But when I get onto this ski lift, there's nothing but snow and trees and obviously i was freaking out because it was sunset like it was about to be dark but then i was also thinking how the fuck did this happen like i was with a group of people in a busy area and also because i was a child and a beginner at snowboarding obviously they took us to a course that was super close to like the main area the fact that i'm now on this single seater ski lift looking out 360 views and there's nothing I didn't know what do you even do and it was on that ski lift I just broke down sobbing like I genuinely thought I was going to die I just wanted my mum and this ski lift just drops me off at nowhere like no destination no platform nothing the cabin that we were staying at the way to get to this main area to go skiing and snowboarding in was that we had to catch a shuttle bus and then an underground subway the sunset it's dark you have to understand how scary it was because when i say dark i mean i couldn't barely see what was in front of me there's no city lights anywhere I didn't have the torch on my phone to shine just as i was about to give up and sit down and accept what was going to happen i saw like this glowing light in the distance and what it led me to was like this glowing tunnel with a staircase leading down into it and what led me to the bottom was an underground subway how that was there i don't know why it was there i don't know it doesn't make any sense for there to be a proper station there because i was in the middle of nowhere but sure enough the subway came and i jumped on it and it took me to the shuttle buses and i took a shuttle bus back to the cabin and when i walked into the cabin all the school kids i was with all the teachers that were there were all having like dinner together and i was like was no one looking for me and everybody very nonchalantly not in like even a rude way we're just like oh hey chloe there you are it was almost as if they were hearing me through a filter and they weren't grasping the gravity of what i was trying to say i don't know the whole thing was weird the energy was off for the next few days i stayed in the cabin i refused to leave the cabin and then when i got home things felt slightly off i don't really know how to explain it but for example certain objects in my room were in like a different place and it's not as if anybody in my family would have gone in and rearranged my room it didn't feel like that that's what happened it felt as if that is where it belonged 
but I knew that it was in a different spot before I left. Even just weird things like timing felt different. Everything was just slightly tweaked. When I told my sister about this story a few years later, she said to me, there probably is a timeline out there where you did get lost in the snow and and quantum jumped. And she said, there's probably a timeline out there where our family is grieving you, which is so scary and sad to think. But that's my story where if I told anybody, they probably wouldn't believe me. First, I thought that she just like jumped into another timeline, like went through some sort of portal. Or just, like, okay. I believe her. <laughs> right. right. So we have been watching a lot of like the Deadpool and all this <laughs> constant drama, all this. I was like, well, when I come across this video, I'm like, oh, yeah. sis, I've been there too. So let's just recap what she talked about. Um, she went skiing. She was a child. Uh, she saw everyone in front of her. They just turned on the corner. She went on the corner as well. And it's almost like she slipped out of time. And she was in another place where she, there's no one around behind, no one in front. It was just a desolated place. It looks right. like it looks like the same mountain she was on, except this time it was just deserted. And include, yeah, including, nothing. Uh, there was the, the ski elevator, but there's nobody. It's, it's, this is Stephen King Langolia's the void sort of timeline. There are three. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, can you imagine how freaked out you'll be? Like, even if, if you're like a full grown adult, what, what are you going to do? There's mm. nothing you can do, eh? Mm. Right? She, you cannot run, you cannot scream, you cannot shout. And she was really ready to accept her fate, right? Remember she said, then she saw a light hey. at the end of the tunnel and she walked towards the light. And what's interesting is, it's a mountain, by the way. She walked towards mm. the light then she appears in a underground underground subway. Hey, this is this is I mean what? Virtual matrix timeline a glitch. What the fuck are we dealing with? Wormhole? Have you heard of uh, the back rooms also? Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, is okay. it is that the one with uh, the, the the world and reality is connected by some corridor that you can actually yeah, step yeah, in yeah, and out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, so uh, the matrix lah. Like Correct, right? So it's something like that. So the uh, the whole like the back room thing uh first appear, I heard I think it was from Reddit. Mm. And then I'll let someone say that, yo, what the fuck? I just like enter another dimension and now I can't get out of the kind of thing. So it became like a wild conspiracy theory that actually this is like you know, the world is connected, then this is like the back room. This is like the, the admin place that you are not supposed to be. Right? Yeah. Then after that, like you accidentally drop into like the admin access uh. of the whole uh the, the whole um, world, right? Yeah. And then after that, you you will see what you're not supposed to see there. Like, you know, all like the monsters and kind of stuff, they'll chase after you. But the weird thing is, a lot of people who say or claim that they have been there, they say that they will not get tired, they will not get hungry, they will not get thirsty. So basically, like your old, whole, like, uh, you know, the human basic thing yeah. is like just cut off. And then they will just walk for days or hours or, you know, there's no sense of time anymore. And then like after you, that... It's almost like you put a cheat code that you just face into that, that, that dimension where you no longer need any human needs. Right. So it's quite interesting. And then those people who, who claim that they made it out say that they suddenly just turn a corner and then they just, whoop, they just come back. So all these things in life, what we're hustling, what we're suffering, all is just all a figment of... An imagination is a created is a is a created reality. We are the reality bubble. Hey, we are like basically playing Sims. Uh. Do you, you know? do you think do you think we are real when you hear our voice? Do you even know that Belinda exists or maybe she's just filled with ones and zeros? You think <gasps> she exists but she doesn't exist. Oh then Eugene, I have a confession to share too. <gasps> <gasps> okay, so this one confession, I think a lot of people hear before already. Uh, but I always wonder, I always think back to that that day. Yeah. That day where, um, you know, I had a story which was um, me and my younger brother and my older brother and my mate, right? We were all walking and then suddenly I disappeared. Oh, yes! <gasps> Tell us the story again. Oh, I remember that story okay. so well. Oh, this yeah. is a perfect so day I for that. Thinking, I keep thinking and thinking and thinking. You froze. What happened? Something doesn't want you to confess. Oh my god, you just dropped out. B, where are you? 
Tonight has been so spooky. What's going on? What's going on? Is someone trying to stop us from from telling the truth? Have we discovered something? Oh Lord. This is freakier than ghost stories. The internet, they are spying on us. Hello? Hello? B? Hey, I have no idea. We were, we were, what, shut down for 15 minutes. 15. Uh. I think the, the lizard people are listening to us. The world is controlled by shadowy elites and shape sifting lizard people. If I'm not weird enough, then you know I've been replaced. Uh, we, need, we need to have a password, you know, like, like a code word to know whether who, what, that, that we are who we say we are. They always say, my just like look into the eyes. Then the lizard people, I were like. And protecting the population and minimizing civilian casualties have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine. Civilian casualties have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine. I think, okay, so my, my code word would be, I want to eat cheeseburger. So if I tell you I want to eat cheeseburger, you know it's me. <laughs> okay, okay. Because that's what I feel like eating now. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm also hungry. I went out and take pudding. So oh for you. man! Okay, for so you also be. I want to eat pudding. <laughs> so mine is cheese. Mine is a double cheeseburger. You also be a pudding. That's how we know that we are each other. We we are who we say we are. We're not lizard, lizard people. But it's kind of <laughs> ironic because now we're talking about it on air, so they're probably listening to to, to us as well. <laughs> okay, okay. I know. I know the best way. You take like a piece of like a worm or something, right? Then go in front of you, right? <gasps> you never scream. If you like. Oh, uh, let me know. Let me know. You put cockroach, yeah. Put cockroach. Uh, we all know you be scared. Uh, okay, so let's go back to our stream. Uh, before we got in, uh, rudely interrupted by the lizard people, we were talking about the lady. We were with... so excited to talk about. Yeah, where were we? We were talking about her and uh, the the time zone and what we were talking about back room. Yes. Mm. So after that, I I told you guys that I have a story to share, but I think you guys have heard it a thousand and one time. But we're just gonna say it again. Mm. I think I might have jump timelines. Okay. So yeah, tell yeah. us tell us all about it from the start to finish, because I I heard it many many times, but I still enjoy it. <coughs> okay. Wait. Am I lagging again? Ah, lagging. Yeah, you're lagging. Now can. Oops. Okay. Okay. And go. <laughs> okay. So the whole thing, okay, happened when I was like, I think about in kindergarten, right? I think it was K one or K two. Mm. And then after that, it was the school holidays. So me and my brothers, we went down, and I'm the middle child. So I have a younger brother and I have an older brother. So my younger brother, he's still like a baby. Mm. I think cannot w- really walk yet. So my mate have to carry him. Mm. Right? So my older brother is walking in front. And then I'm in the middle. Mm. And then my younger brother is at the back with the mate. Mm. Right? So we are walking diagonally all the way into the mama shop area. Mm. And then before we reach the mama shop, we were under a void deck. And I was very clear uh, where we were going. I know this place like about my hand because we have been there a thousand and one times, right? Yeah. And then after that, suddenly, I was in the middle, right? And then when I opened and then I blinked my eye, I suddenly kind of like teleported like underneath my block. Mm. And then I was like totally surprised. I know where I was. I know where I were like just like one second ago. And then suddenly I'm all alone at underneath my block. I don't know how much time has passed. I don't know like which day is it, but I know where I am because this is where I stay, right? Mm. And then after that, two aunties came up to me, Chinese aunties. And then they were bringing their grandchildren, uh, same school uniform as mine, right? Okay, and then they come up to me and then they say, Girl, are you lost? Why are you here? Why are you crying? And I say, I don't know how I, I, I came here. The one moment I was walking with my brother and then the next moment when I blink, I open my eyes, I'm here by myself. I like I, I know where I am. I'm I'm like at my house, but I don't know how I got here. 
right? And then after that, where is my brothers, right? Where the 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 time is like there's something missing mm. and there's something not right. Mm. And then they was like, girl, girl, don't worry, you come with us, you come with us. <laughs> they're the administrators. I don't know. And then after that, they're like, girl, girl, come with us. Now I'm like, no, I don't want to go with you. I know where I am. You know, I believe my family will come back and look for me uh, if they know that I'm missing. Yeah. Right. They cannot. They cannot just go off without me. Right. Yeah. Suddenly, I just disappear. Everybody will be looking for me. Right? Yeah. Right. And then after that, I say, no, no, I'm going to stay here. And then they were about they do to grab me, you know. They want to, to pull me away. You know, they was having going to have the gesture to pull me away, like how you pull a kid away, yeah, right? Yeah. And then after that, right, that is when my older brother went run, ran over. And then after that he was like, Hey, 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 why are you here? And then after that I was freaking out, I was crying. I was, you know, like full on like here, but I don't know how I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. You know, the full on drama mode. And then after that, my older brother said, No, it's okay. I I she's my little sister and she's with us. She, she's okay already and then the grandparents still be like uh, the grandmas still are like hey you know are you are you guys really fine okay uh, next time don't get lost uh. and then after that I very clearly remember the two boys right they didn't say anything they were just following the grand, grandparents uh, the grandmas around then, right then the eyes just I don't know <laughs> okay but I wasn't paying attention because my eyes got water uh. yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> okay but I remember they were wearing my school uniform but it didn't occur to me as strange until later. If they were from my school, I'm having school holiday, what kind of kindergarten don't have the same holiday one? Huh. Why are they wearing school uniform? Oh. It's school holiday what? So that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. And then the second part that don't make sense to me, besides the whole disappearing act, yeah. la, is why are they so adamant to bring me away? See, now we never know what happens. Yeah, I also never know. I keep wondering. I keep that that scene keep replaying in my head. Mm. And then after that, right? That is like, you know, all the conspiracy theory come into play already. And then um another thing that I've noticed something weird. Sometimes uh. I will like I, I don't know whether I jump timeline in my sleep or what. I don't know what happened. Uh. I remember like when I was uh in primary school, in primary one, they have like you know the different color houses. Yeah. Right? During like uh, sports day, you will have like uh, a lot of competitions and mm, stuff like that. Mm. I clearly remember I was from Red House. Okay. And then after that, uh, they didn't use the house so frequently until like primary five, they suddenly want to go into house again. Uh-huh. And then suddenly, I'm in Green House. What do you mean? As in, you remember your Red House, but when you are actually there, you're in a Green House. Yeah, so when I was like uh, primary five uh, during the category, like, you know, they, they suddenly decide to split us up into yeah. our houses again yeah. because they never used for four years already, right? Yeah. Suddenly, they decide to split us up into the house again. Mm-hmm. I was not in bed. I was in green. But couldn't they have swapped you out when, uh, four years later? But everybody is from their house, like, ever since they were, like, you know... Oh, oh so you remembered red, but in reality, you were not in red, you were in green. Yeah. It's like a Mandela effect. I, I don't know what happened. I, I just asked my friend who was in that same house. I was like, was I always in this house? Because everybody is in that house mm, ever mm, since mm, like, mm. you know, they enter the school. Then okay. I asked them, Am I am I am I always on in this house? Then they're like, Yeah. <laughs> like nonchalant, like the story just now that everyone's like, Yeah. Correct, correct. They didn't like filter register in. I'm like, mm. wait. I'm like, wait. Wait, what's, what's happening? I'm, I'm like confused. I'm lost. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. Oh my goodness. So which uh, of of number Belinda are you talking to? <laughs> uh, is it, what, what pudding is it? Is it a chocolate pudding? What pudding are you eating? Uh, custard pudding. Okay, custard pudding. Your, your code word is custard pudding. Mine will be a double cheeseburger, okay? Okay, okay. That should like tattoo tattoo on my arm also, like Custom the earth code number I have. Yeah. Earth <laughs> six zero zero nine. <laughs> and then after that the next time you see different number, I say, like, Oh and... shit, this is a different Belinda. <laughs> Belinda call, then you have all the different Belinda's coming out from the timeline. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jeez, okay, we got some really uh uh I think So on. so I really relate to her story, you know? Yeah. Which is like she suddenly she just don't know where she is and then she just appeared somewhere else. So I've heard uh other people's stories also. Mm. They don't really want to share because yeah. uh I heard I have a friend Oh shit, what was that? Uh, yeah, he ate something from in the room. Yeah, they, what the fuck's wrong with all? Oh fuck me, man! Hey, this is spooky as hell. What happened in your room? Something just fell. Yes. One of the invisible lizard people have just knocked over something. They are not so invisible anymore. Oh shit! Interesting, right? Yeah. I cannot say too much really. Oh. Later one day I just get kidnapped and then just gone. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel that might be a reality. <laughs> Today I've just been full of strange stuff. <laughs> you clean your necks. Oh my goodness. They already got my internet already. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh move on from uh conspiracy theory and lizard people into this other short video. It's actually in dialect with Chinese subtitles, so B you might have to translate for us, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mong,在呀。咁多燈唔喐,你冇影隔離嗰啲燈啊。得佢喐咗喎。你知咩料啊?我買個好天啊。OK啦,走啦走啦走啦。好天啊。OK,so Okay. So everything is pitch dark inside. There's yeah. nobody inside. And mm. then there's this land that is like just rocking back and forth like nobody's oh. business. Very violently. Right? Mm. So everybody was like thinking, what could it be? You know, could it mm. be someone inside and stuff like that? But mm. uh the video, right, actually showed a little bit of like the other lamps. The other lamps were just standing still, like quietly, like nothing happened. And then after that, uh the guy who was filming the video asked. You know, Sifu, what's mm. going on? Mm. Then after that, Sifu is like, this is very fierce. We should go. None of my business. <laughs> oh, so she detected something lah. She they don't want to say as like, very fierce, very fierce, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Could it be the aircon? You see, there's an aircon there, right? You see, if I zoom yeah, in, right? Yeah, but the aircon, aircon blow the thing very violently. Wouldn't your, uh, you know, morning, day shift customers be freaked out also? Why is your lamp mm, shaking so violently? That's true. Uh, that's true. Right? If uh, if this is an issue in the day or so, I don't think they'll still leave the lamp there, la, right? Uh, maybe there was a lizard on it. Just a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Has the lizard people gotten to you, Eugene? I'm thinking that they are hearing stop. it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think you know who can uh, have the answer first, not? I think uh, this Malaysian Bomo might know a thing or two. Lah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember this guy? Uh, I, I first encountered this Malaysian Bomo thing on the internet, right? Was uh, He was, I think he was, for what incident? Uh, was it the bird flu or was it COVID? I cannot remember already. He was taking like a vase. Then he was like saying he will like suck all the bad energy inside or something like that. I cannot remember. <laughs> COVID has a lot of funny people. No, but the first time I know about him was the Malaysia air- Airlines that disappeared. Uh-huh. Then he had he wanted to find the airline. So he went with the two coconut and he, he did this. Okay. Then he he <laughs> took the bamboo and he was trying to look out, look out for that. Uh, this, I believe this was in 2015 or 2014, around that time. Can't remember. Yeah, but it was during the aircraft thing. I, I think I saw that also. Yeah. Uh... What was it? Uh? Hey, but maybe uh, the lizard people pay him, you know, to make memes, to distract the people. Yeah, to make us, so to nobody make us will disbelieve. Actually... Uh, okay, so, so I'm going to read out to you this article, right? Malaysian infamous Bomo visits KL Singhole. So the KL Singhole, if you guys do not know, there was a 
uh, in KL, the floor gave way and a lady unfortunately fell through the hole. Uh, her body couldn't be found and they've been looking for it. I believe the search has been called off so they're no longer mm. looking for a body because it's very dangerous. The sewer has a lot of bacteria and by mm. searching it and digging it, uh, more sinkholes are appearing in the place so they have kind of stopped it. So this Bomo, uh, apparently he's like the D Bomo in Malaysia that tends to get onto a lot of controversial news. So his name is Shaman Ibrahim Matzing, better known as Raja Bomo, has offered his services to find the missing tourist who disappeared into a sinkhole in Kuala Lumpur. Back in 2014, the infamous Shaman became widely known after he conducted rituals at Kuala Lumpur International Airport with two coconuts, a carpet and a walking stick. To help him find the vanished Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. Uh, by the way, still not found, huh? <laughs> yep. So this time he's on August 28th, Wednesday, he sprinkled special water on the ground. Uh, with, and he was wearing sunglasses, a duck suit, and a sonko. It was accompanied by an assistant, like in the photo that you're watching now. He was seen sprinkling mm. special water on the ground, which he claimed had been taken from the bottom of a waterfall in Perak. Uh, he did not bring coconuts this time. <laughs> Ibrahim told reporters that he needed to see the actual sinkhole to ensure the search was successful but was denied access by the police. Oh, maybe that's why they were fine. Oh, so sad. He says, we want hey, to help. You yeah. Know, mm. yeah, but the, the person who actually fell into the sinkhole, I think very sweet it. Mm. It was a tourist mm. and then just visiting that area, you know. Yes. Can you imagine suddenly you go on a holiday then after that, like, you know, the the... the uh, the deity there, like governing the, the underworld or something, just like, mm, uh, not happy if you do. Uh. Just suddenly open one sinkhole, just eat you. Uh. Yeah. Just <sighs> gone, eh. Sweet Cannot bitch. find anymore. Yeah. Do you think it's supernatural? <gasps> I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of thing because an uh, unfortunate, unfortunate incident has just happened, right? Any insinuation that it could be of a supernatural nature is just going to hurt feelings, lah. So, I guess, uh, mm. uh, just to be on the most sensitive side of things, I'll just leave it as it was an unfortunate incident uh, that happened at the wrong place, wrong time for the wrong person. See? I'm very PR, no? Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's why the lizard people never come after you. <laughs> oh, I, I, like, I like this line. It's that they asked him, why this time he never bring coconuts and bamboo binoculars? <laughs> he explained he did not want to cause a stir. See? Wow, so sensitive this guy. He he know already. The coconut is his meme already. Yeah man, I oh, he's so full of. I'm I'm looking at other other videos of him. Yeah, you're you're right. Uh, 2020, he made headlines again by performing ritual to cure the world of COVID nineteen. Yep, I remember. I saw him somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, another news that came in by from a lot of our um community members are uh, Gabriel, uh, Maitreya, uh, just some of the names that. People have sent me this. Uh, friends in Taiwan found corpse of missing couple while exploring abandoned building to hunt ghosts. Have you heard oh, this one? Shit. No, what's that? Okay, I read out to you. Huh? So you can see from the picture, it's an abandoned building and mm. a bunch of friends were going there to hunt for ghosts, live streaming. Live stream, okay? And then they actually found corpses of a couple who were missing for six months. <gasps> okay, so on the final day of Hungry Ghost Month, uh, three friends ventured into an abandoned logistics center in Kenting, Taiwan at night to live stream a ghost hunting adventure. To their horror, they stumbled upon a corpse of a couple who had been missing for more than six months. Shell shocked, the trio rushed home and were rendered speechless for an hour before they finally found the courage to report the grim discovery to the police. Um, according to an FTV news report, the, cops were, the corpses were found lying on the bed on their backs says Heng Chun Police Director Lim Yan Yu. Their faces were unrecognisable as they had been dead for several days. However, their identification cards were found at the scene. They were determined to be husband and wife, surnamed Chen, who had been reported missing for over half a year. Uh, no external injuries were visible on their bodies and there were no signs of struggle or blood stains at the scene. However, a preliminary inspection uncovered 16 insulin injection needles. Yeah. Wait, insulin is isn't it the one for diabetes? Yes. So it's not as if they're shooting up uh drugs, drugs to get a high. You cannot get yeah. high on insulin. So what's the point of the insulin? I mean they have diabetes lah, so they, they shoot up lah. But sixteen 
I mean, 16 males law, they have been... Every time before you have a male, you shoot up in insulin, ma? So if two of them... Or is ate, it like, because they got like some suicide pack, then they just... I don't waste the insulin. I'm not really sure you can OD on insulin, eh? I don't think so. Yeah. I, but I don't know. I'm not medical, medically knowledgeable Let's in the Google. area. Can you OD on insulin, is it? Yep. Can you OD on insulin? What to do if you have taken too much insulin? Sometimes you can accidentally take more insulin than you need, which can result in overdose. This can be serious and may lead to severe hypos. The worst cases uh. can make you feel disoriented, cause you to have seizures, and can even lead to death. Oh. Oh, maybe they, maybe, they are yeah, trying maybe. to... But wouldn't it like, you know, just eat like sleeping pill or like, you know, that kind of thing. It will be easier. I it's really know. kind of expensive, isn't it? But why you want to go to this? No, so they already died a few days ago. They were lost for more than six months. They were missing for more than six months, which means it was not like as if the body was discovered six months decomposed already. So they were alive for pretty much six months, probably living in this abandoned place and then only died. Recently. Mm. Yeah. If have you like uh seen like the documentary about the pyramid also? The pyramid? Like if there are some some structures, if you know they are built in a certain way, mm. then after that, uh your corpse can actually like decompose like <sighs> slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the house got the same effect. Maybe Ooh. they have been dead for six months. <gasps> Another time travel portal wormhole kind of story. I'm, I'm obsessed with the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a wormhole episode. Okay. Uh, so that's that's quite tragic and I hope they find out more information about that. But I mean, for the people who want to go there and hunt for ghosts. so it's the equi- They got a scare of their life. <laughs> yeah, but you see, it's the equivalent of someone going to Changi Hospital and found a body, a pair mm. of, of corpses who have been Described to have been missing for more than six months. Can you imagine the kind of stories that will go around? Okay, this next particular video really spooked the fuck out of me. Uh, well, just watch. We'll talk about this later. You should never talk back to a mimic. A mother named Laura captured a creepy moment while home alone with two of her kids. She begins to hear someone or something mimicking her son's voice. Who's me? Your son. Aren't you at your friend's sleepover? Hungry. The voice of her son can be heard trying to trick her in opening the door. Go to bed. No. Laura explains that her son is staying at her friend's house and has no idea who or what. Okay, I would have believed this. It's, it's a freaky video. I would have believed yeah. it if there was no someone filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that was the first thing in the comment section also when I was looking at it. Then after that, I'm like, hmm. But I think it will still make like a good like story. What if you hear like, you know, someone's voice outside? Yeah, like, you know, your, 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 your mom, your dad, your, your, you, you, someone is not supposed to be home. Then you get a knock on your room door. And talk, 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 let me in, let me in. <sighs> Okay. Freaky, but the filming hey, of it, that, uh, yeah. But rich. um, I I ever have you know like incidents when I'm like at home. Ah. Uh, usually I'm in the kitchen cooking. Ah. But from my kitchen, right, I can see like the living room. Ah. But my house, uh, generally, right, as the evening, um, like about five, six, like that, it ah. will start to become very dark already. Ah. Like it, it's just my house structure, la. Okay. And then after that. Uh, like no matter what The sun usually Don't really like Come into my house Wow lao, That's such a bad Feng Shui <laughs> Not my fault uh. My parents buy uh. I just stay here only <laughs> No wonder There's so many hantu Over there la. Okay But you know What's a freaky thing uh. Okay I will usually see Like people walking by uh. Like in the living room When I'm like Preparing my dinner Or whatever Then I thought It's my brother at home Uh huh But Usually, okay, my family also, like, don't have this habit of greeting each other. Like, say, hey, hi, you know, that kind of thing. Don't have 
we just you know, do our own thing. Okay. Okay, and then after that, I like, okay lah, I think maybe just, you know, them. Then after that, when something I feel is not right, right, they will start to like, duck, duck around. The black, the black shadow or black figures will like, run around. Hey, what happened, Eugene? I heard sound of bells chiming. <sighs> then I realized it was my cat with the. Hey, why you so spooked out today, Eugene? Oh, come here, you. Why you scared the bejesus out of me? <laughs> why you shake, 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 shake? You protect me, okay? <laughs> Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's on my desk now. I feel safer. <laughs> 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 Alright, where were we? Okay, yeah. I thought what happened, you Oh, no, you're saying oh, that um, you. your, your parents don't greet each other. Then what happened? Okay. So after that, uh, usually my uh, house, because we don't greet each other, then yeah. after that, I, I will see like figure walking past and stuff like that. It will huh. usually be, you, be normal, right? Mm. But the thing that's not normal when they start to run. Like they duck around. Oh, your family, mem- your f- family members duck around. Yeah. Uh, I don't really see them because it's at my, like, you know, the, 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 the peripheral the vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the corner of the eye, right? I only see the black sh- like figures like running past. Then I'm like, something's not right. It's okay. I'll just continue preparing. <laughs> How many years has this been? Always, Eugene. Always. Always. I oh I I'm already used to it. Really. <laughs> okay, but well, you know what's the funny thing? What? Okay. I thought that, you know, all the structure, like the HDB basically, uh, right? Uh-huh. The they usually they build the whole unit. Yeah. Same one, man. Yeah. Right? Okay, the whole layout of the house, everything is the same. Yeah. Then there was one time, I don't know who, like the upstairs neighbor, okay, their uniform or something dropped. So I know it have to belong to one of them. But I don't know who. Okay. Right? So I went upstairs and knocked. Just a few units up on it. Okay. So, knock, 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 knock. Then until, uh, I think it was like the 10th level or the 11th level. Uh, wow, when they opened their house, uh, their house was so bright, you know, Eugene. Same corner you need everything. Uh. Then I'm like, hey, your house will be bright, ah. Like, With lights, then, or are you talking about natural lighting? Natural, natural is all, all like the sunlight uh, coming uh, in uh, and uh. stuff like that. Then I'm like, my house also paint white color, eh, but my white my, my house looks so dark. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it's you, ah. Okay, one day you G, you come over, then you tell me, okay. Okay. <laughs> See the thing I do for you guys, alright? I'm gonna risk my life and go over to Belinda's place to investigate. <laughs> nothing here, la. This Maybe darting, la, this darting but shadows, la. everything. Then she's like, ah, yeah, don't mind, la. It's normal, la, normal. La. Then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you go to all these abandoned houses, abandoned places so many times, really. Hey. Oh, yeah. I, I went to an abandoned place last Saturday night. I'll send you the photo oh. later. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah So I also have Peeping A lot of peeping Tom Just like The guys the la, the one the I believe la. Or I don't shadows. know eh. I don't know whether guys Oh shadow I cannot see I don't know what's the gender <laughs> Wow Okay okay Any, Anything else about your house That you want to confess about Now is a good time <laughs> So I don't know Maybe they bring me To different dimension la. Say, hey, I, uh, you know, dimension number 51 need your help. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, all these, your parents and all that is all from different dimensions, like parallel timeline. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Okay, this next confession is by Bert Tan. Have a read. It says, sharing a video clip which my helper sent me recently in Jurong West HDB neighborhood 67X, 67X area. It was at... In the morning, 8.30am, four days ago, what can you see? It was not a handphone reflection as Maid was able to see the thing without the handphone. She said it seemed to follow her when she was walking. She was just sharing her live video with a relative and didn't realise it until relative asked, 
what was the white thing? My mate often sick, very weak body type. Okay, watch the video. From left to right or so. Right? Like 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 floating on top of her, right? Yeah. It doesn't really look like the lens flare or so. Okay, so she, they did in the confession they did say it's not a lens flare because she can see it with her, her eyes. So it's not mm. just from the phone. So this one pops on the right side. And then again, I think from the left a little bit. You can you can still see, even like now, on the left side, there is something translucent there. Hmm. You look at the blocks, right? On the left side where the trees are, you can see that it's a bit of a smoky effect there. And it's gone. Now the right side of it comes back again. So it's moving around. I think it's like following her. Now, the still shot that she provided is this one. This is the clearest. Yep. So, yeah, that's I don't know. It doesn't look like a human. Mm. It maybe look like a maybe spirit animal mm. that's following her. What do you think it is? So based on what was said, it was not a lens flare, seeing the naked eye, and it's just following her. And it's not like a mm. cigarette smoke. So maybe a, and she's always falling sick. So maybe she's she's actually have a spirit attachment with her. That's, oh. that's draining her energy. I, I think that could be it. Do you see, mm. do, do you feel anything that when you look at this? Do you feel it might it, be a more than it just... Feels like a, it feels like an insect eh, of some sort. Insect spirit. Like. I don't know. Like, I'm just pulling things out of my ass. Mm. <laughs> but it feels like an insect. It, it's not a uh, humanoid. Mm. I, can, I, can, I can probably see. Yeah. yeah. I... Uh... I mean, but I don't know whether I don't know whether the maid uh say this thing that's following her is it like just recently only, or is it maybe just uh, because as she, um, as they say right everything that you, uh, given you need to have like a price to pay for it so like you know it balances the scale uh-huh, so uh-huh. because she can see all these things that's why she needs to balance the scale as she will have a weaker body. Mm. Not necessarily as she, she may be under attack. Mm. Maybe that thing is just curious to maybe feel like her aura or something. That's why she's, she's like following her around. Mm. But it doesn't seem like it's doing her any, any harm. harm. Right? right. So could it even be a protection, a, a, a protective spirit? Maybe. Mm. She could have been worse. But because of the protective spirit, the, protective, the guardian spirit, she's, she's okay. Just forcing on it. Mm, mm. Probably, I think like uh, a lot of like the the people I've heard like the the other spiritual professional, they probably like have a lot of like uh the give and take that they need to give. Mm. Yeah, so to balance out the the skill, uh, yeah. nobody can have so much power, right? <laughs> wow, interesting. Today's today's <laughs> today's episode was quite quite weird. I feel like both. <laughs> So maybe uh, if our have our our uh, people who are watching have a lot of more weird stories, can share with us. Hey, but you know, Eugene, I'm think I've been thinking ah. maybe we should do once uh like highlight of like the comment session every week, right? We should do like a three highlight. What do you mean? Like um, like the previous uh week, right? Ah. Whoever who say like you know like funny oh, thing on the or, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. let's do that. Let's then do we that. should do like a highlight. Yeah, mm. then we'll highlight all the people like who, who said like what answer last our week. question. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, go screen capture some more stuff, put it up there, and we will, every week, we will uh, spend some time to reflect on the previous week's co- uh, content that you guys have commented upon. Yeah. Let's okay, go. Well, she, she, uh, so this week, this week, I think a lot of things to say. Yeah, man. <laughs> 
Okay, so leave your comments, ladies and gentlemen. You have heard what Belinda has said. She's she's so pro community. I love it. She's coming with all these ideas for you guys. Uh, so so sending your comments and uh, what well, Belinda will, will select some of the interesting ones to read out next week. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to sleep tonight. I'm not going to cut anything. I'm going to cut this video tomorrow. It's just freak it out for one night. <laughs> hey, hey, what if you cut and then tomorrow you can hear? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, last week, Friday Night Live, right? I pre recorded at night, in the middle of the night. And mm. because while people are watching the Friday, the, the, the pre-recorded Friday Night Live, I'm not talking, my mouth is like, I was like like that or whatever. John was just finishing up his question. People heard the word, yeah. Volume of stories. Mm. You mm. would trump Singapore anytime, you know? We, we, we had a little <laughs> engine that could and well, like what you <laughs> rightly pointed out, uh, uh, most of our Singapore island's history actually comes from Malaya or so. Eh? Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Actually, I mean, it's, it's a different sort of, of measure of keras, right? Mm. You know, we don't even have the, we didn't even have the word keras in Singapore because mm. hardly anything in Singapore counts as even minimally keras by <laughs> Malay standards, right? Mm. In Malaysia, just walk out of your house and it's keras already. Yeah. You know, it's so creepy there and, and just walk out of your house and it's keras already. <laughs> It's so creepy there, and and oh shit! Hey, you see lah, we got hantu guests ready now. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I think it's from John's you side lah. My room is then protected lah. Cannot be my room lah. I think it's John's side lah. Yeah. Hey, your Wi-Fi just down, only eh? don't say it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no. Okay, okay. I better go and contact the. You need to go and say that, sorry. Yeah, man. All right lah. Okay, it's already two a.m. now on my side, on our side. Uh, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you in a matter of hours, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, see you for lunch. See you for lunch. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you guys next week on Housekeeping. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>